Hey yo, what is going on guys, Famson here, and today in this video, we are going to be doing a, uh, a little different type of video, just Call of Duty based classes and stuff like that. I'm going to show you my classes that I've come up with that really have helped me throughout the entire game. Um, and they're kind of diverse, but at the same time, I'm using infantry for almost every single one of them. Uh, sometimes I, I switch on airborne and mountain just in case I go like, uh, you know, if I'm trying to be like suppressed and all that stuff. But most of the time I'm just running infantry because you get the extra class and then I'll run to prime after that and you get a fourth attachment but right now i don't have that so i'm just running hustle uh so yeah let me just go ahead and get into it and uh show you guys uh all i've done with my classes oh i caught it let's go Whoo! all right guys so first of all infantry for all of them i've prestige it once so i don't really have the full uh level five infantry i think um let's see yeah I'm le it's level two right now so, uh, I got, for my first class, the sniper class, I have the, um, what, Leonfield, yeah. Leonfield with ballistic calibration, rapid fire, and, uh, full metal jacket. And then I have the machine gun pistol with an extended mag and a frag. That, those three items right there will stay on almost every single one of my classes. Uh, hustle, I, I don't really run hustle that much, but it's good because you reload faster while sprinting. But I write, I like to run primed or, um, let's see, I think it's scoped. Oh, yeah, I already have scoped on here um yeah let's go ahead and put scoped on there because i, I kind of like to um you know be able to not have as much sway and pl plus this it, it literally makes the land field you cannot be inaccurate with it uh so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and actually put that on most of these classes uh scoped there we go um yeah okay all right and so that's my first class my second class is the mp40 with rapid fire advanced rifling and grip and uh the only reason i don't have any um what's it called uh quick draw is because it really it doesn't help at all um it's just a waste of attachment so i just uh decided not to put that on there all right so my next one is going to be the lewis now I know this is kind of odd to have the Lewis, but trust me, guys, this is a really, really good gun. This could work out for any LMG in the in the in the list. Uh, so you get a reflex sight, a grip, and a full metal jacket. Because sometimes this thing it needs to be more accurate, so that's why you have these two things right here. But also sometimes they're just they're head glitching their balls off, and you, you need to shoot them through the wall that they're hiding behind. So this thing is perfect for that with the amount of bullets that you're shooting. It's it, it's absurd how amazing that is. All right, so the bar. This is one of my favorite classes that. I like to run so I get a bar with rapid fire high caliber and grip now rapid fire the only reason I added that is because they took they took um the fire rate a little bit off of the uh the bar so I'm just adding it back on putting a grip so that we can stabilize that rapid fire then we're putting a high caliber you guys have no idea how amazing a high caliber is on a bar like you get so lucky I don't I don't know it's like the uh the, the recoil shoots high enough and sometimes we'll just get lucky and get one bullet if one bullet hits them in the head they're dead like immediately so i definitely would put that on there recommend i would recommend that like 100 percent because that's amazing also my second favorite class i like to run besides the land field class that you, you know that one's its own little section uh so i run extended mags grip with a rapid fire now a rat I do extend the mag because I'm running rapid fire. You know, you're pushing through this clips really fast, but you also need to stabilize it. So I added a grip so that we can control the rapid fire. Now the STG, one of the most absurd guns ever. Now this gun is amazing by itself. So I added a grip just to uh, make it more accurate than, you know, just whatever. And then high caliber and full metal jacket just to make the damage absurd that it already is. And it, it's just, it eats people. It destroys them. So uh, yeah, so these are my five classes. Let's go on and... Uh, Let's just try out like one of a couple of these classes and just see how it goes. Oh yeah, guys, I forgot to say. Um, so what I recommend for um score streaks is definitely the recon aircraft because you know you never know when you you really need to see the people on the mini map and they may not have it. You know, no one else may not have a recon aircraft, so you're gonna need that. Uh, and then the glide bomb just because you know sometimes you get lucky and there'll be three or four people just standing there, you just destroy them. That's an extra points to get you to the artillery barrage, which is like one of my favorite score streaks just because it's it's all right to, it's like semi easy to get and you know you just kind of lock down an area like if you're playing an objective map you can lock down an area so you can cap that flag or whatever you're doing and they'll they can't enter in because it's getting barraged by by um artillery and also the the fun thing about it is you can walk through your own artillery barrage well not you yourself but your teammates so they, they can all go through there where the teammates are running away or just waiting for it to go away and then they just get destroyed by the people going through the barrage it's like honestly amazing i would say go for like a firebomb 
bombing run or something like that, but I don't, first of all, I don't have it unlocked. If I did, I probably would put that on there instead of a uh, glide bomb, but this, this is like one of the best score streaks in the game, fire bomb run. So is a uh, ball turret gunner, but you know, when in, when in, when in life are you ever going to get that? Uh, I mean, paratroopers, I barely use that. So yeah, um, that's about it. So yeah, like I said, let's go in, in a game and uh, see what we can do. All right, let's see what kind of score streak or er, supply drops we get. Oh my gosh! Holy crap! That was one of the best supply chests I have ever opened. What the crap was that? Holy Just moly! Epic! 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 Uh, and there's a there's there's different types of uh, supply drops you can get. You can get common, rare. You can get legendary. You can get epic, and you can get heroic. Heroic is red. So if you ever get a heroic, just consider yourself the luckiest person on the earth because that is really hard to get. Three epics though. Holy, that's like. Next best. La la la. La 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 Okay. All right, and trust me guys, when you have the full level 5 infantry, it is like one of the best. Oh, dang it. I gotta get lucky. Probably had, um, high caliber because he got a headshot on me. <laughs> oh, dang it, man. That was, uh, that guy was clutch for his teammates. Alright, here we go. Guys, so, um, while I'm playing this, uh, while I'm, you know, playing... Uh, let me uh, let me ask you. I don't know if you guys are interested in this, but if you guys have any um, anything you want to say about it, just let me know. So my ideas for series, uh, they 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 vary. So um, one of them is a zombie series where I just get a bunch of people and play zombies uh, on Call of Duty World War Two. Other the other two or the other one series, which is kind of like two series. Uh, in one idea is um, basically 2v2 GBs and 4v4 GBs. I think it would be pretty cool to uh, you know, try that out because you know I watch T Martin all the all the time and I watch some of his videos and they're kind of interesting to watch those types of videos. So uh, just let me let me know what you guys think about that. All right, now it's time it's time to just go off right now. Okay, let me switch up the weapon. Uh, let's go with the STG 44. Dang it, man. That guy just ate so many bullets right there. I'm thinking about maybe putting rapid fire on this gun instead of full metal jacket. And that's why we have high caliber for that situation right there. Dang it. <sighs> All right, thirteen and six. We're not doing uh, too bad. We're doing, we're doing pretty crappy, but we're not doing too bad. And also, guys, this is not my one hundred percent best class setup. This is kind of just uh. This is kind of just my, what I think is the best so far what I've done um but I definitely am going to you know update it and if I update it enough I'll, I'll update you know the video as well what's also good about infantry 
Oh, dang it. I heard him, but I didn't think he was coming towards me. Oh, okay. Like I said, like I was going to say, uh, what's also good about infantry is panic knifing, you know, because if someone comes around the corner and you're right there, you can just go boop. Or not that, but you can go boop and just destroy them. Holy crap. That was way too many bullets for one person. <laughs> Dang it! What? I saw him do it, but I, I don't know. I was just like being dumb. Alright. I don't know what we're going to switch to now. I guess we'll switch to the Lewis. I don't know. The game's pretty much over by now. Wow. Just wow. Okay, 21 and 11. Not really a great game, but, you know, better better than uh, whatever. Just better than what I thought I was going to get after the first couple minutes of this game. Now, that's my best class setups. Um, bad example for gameplay, but that is what I have so far. So... I'll see you guys in the next one. Hope you enjoyed. And if you did, hit the like button, like button down below. And uh, yeah. Peace out.